what's up everybody this is batsman fan and this is episode 40 uh this episode i'm going to be uh this one won't deal with comic books necessarily as far as what i'm going to be showing um this is going to deal with uh, the framing of uh certain comic books and action figures and then i'm going to have one more uh storage uh tote that i found today um so this is a shadow box that's an 8 by 10 and this is a shadow box that is a 10 by 13. Um, I bought these at Hobby Lobby and I am going to put a, a Superpowers Batman uh, carded figure in this one and then in this one I'm going to show you that a uh, a CGC will also fit in there and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, try the thicker cases, slimmer cases, uh, so on and so forth. This smaller case, uh, those of you that go to Hobby Lobby or your wives or uh, if you're a young lady that's watching this video, you know that every other week they run stuff half off. So like what was on sale this week for 50% off won't be on sale next week. And then the week after that, it'll be back on sale for 50% off. If you have the app, you can use the 40% off coupon at any time. Also, uh, Hobby Lobby is now starting to carry and they have been for a little bit, but, uh, they're carrying a lot of different decorations for like Star Wars, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, uh, Marvel, DC, all your major action figures, um, or excuse me, major uh, comic book figures, they are starting to carry. So this one, half off, this was normally priced at $24.99. So it got half off of that, which is $12.50 before tax. And then this is a 10 by 13. And it is normally priced at $27.99. So I'll be back. I will show you what a CGC looks like in this one, what the action figure looks like in the other one. And then I also will be going to show you what I think so far has been the best for storing uh, my comics. Uh, you know, not considering the CGC boxes. I like this one, though, because it's, this will keep water out. Uh, this is the Hefty High Rise uh, 32 quart. I bought this at Target. I'll go in-depth on this one and how many comics it'll hold uh, later on in the video. I will show you this part before I get further into it. Um, these boxes all have this nice uh, black background on them as well. And there's uh, just uh, pins that go in here to hold this little backer on. So I guess if you want to do something else with it, you, they give you some pins uh, to use as well. And then you just got this nice black surface. I'll try to clean that up. Well, I'm not even going to mess with cleaning that up because what I have on here will actually uh, cover it. And these are so simple to, to put back into the frame. It's just two tabs and bam, it's right back in there. So I'll be right back whenever I get the uh, And voila! It is done. That was super fast, super simple. Um, very, very easy folks to do. Um, this is almost a perfect fit. Now, for your superpower stuff, uh, most of the cards, I believe, are probably going to be very similar in size. Your bubble will be different, though, um, depending upon the figures. Um, I, the penguin is a very thick bubble, from what I can remember. Hawkman, I believe, has a very thick bubble as well but uh man this looks it looks amazing in my opinion um it's a nice very clean very professional look to it um so got me a new light this weekend weekend at uh, ikea so um i like i like this so anyways um i really like the way that this will set up display i mean it's it, it looks like this case is is made for this action figure so um what you're going to do, though, if you're going to go out and look for one of these cases at Hobby Lobby, uh, I don't work at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't get paid by Hobby Lobby either. If you're going to go out and you're going to look for one of these cases, what I would strongly suggest that you do is you measure the card, you know, your, your height, uh, width, and then your depth as far as your bubble is concerned. Get all those measurements right because you don't want to crunch your bubble. Also... If you can see right here, if that bubble would have been a little bit thicker, I have one more slot back here that I can um, use 
to put uh, this board, this backer in. So let's uh, let's see what a uh, CGC comment looks like. All right, everybody, here is the CGC. Um, this uh, absolutely matches up 100% as far as framing is concerned with the action figure. So if you wanted to pair uh, like your favorite action figure alongside uh, your favorite comic book or whatever, um, you can do that as well. Um, I, I will say that unless you come in and took out some of the boards in here, um, you would not be able to fit a double, like a, a thick, one of the thicker uh, CGC slabs in there. But for the single thickness, um, you know, this is a standard size comic. So for that, it works perfectly. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to put CBCS, PGX, whatever else. I haven't tested those in this yet. But um, anyways, the CGC fits rather nicely. Um, and it doesn't go all the way up to the front either. Uh, there's these lips in there. Um, so it, it, it helps though, to give it a little bit of depth. Uh, you wouldn't want it just smacked straight up against the glass, in my opinion. Um, so I like that it gives it a little depth. Um, so anyways, um, I will see um, if if I can get... I don't think I can get one of the, the thicker slabs in there. Um, I'll tinker with it a little bit, and if I can, I'll flash up another video of it. Okay, this is the hefty uh, high-rise 32-quart... Uh, container. It's also got this built-in uh, extra uh, oh, extra lid space on it, and uh, that's what sort of that looks like. And I bought this as yet another way to determine if I could, uh, in a pinch, in a bind, can I um, get something that can store my CGCs, CBS or CBCS and PGX comics. This one was $7.99, and it uh, holds right around 27, 28 comics. You might be able to fit 28, 29 comics in there safely. Um, if they're the single slab, and I left all of these in the bags as well. Um, but you can see there's a, there's a big double one right there. Um, there's another, I think, double right there. So... Um, this one fits it really nicely. Those I, w I would say that if you go back and watch my other video where I talk about uh, storage containers and whatnot, um, this is the one I'm the happiest with. Um, Seven ninety nine. I bought it at Target. I don't work for Hefty. I don't work for Target, but I bought this at Target for seven ninety nine, and uh, I'm really I'm really happy with the overall. Like I didn't cram it full right here. You can see there's a little bit of shift. But there's not a whole lot of side to side, if you will. It looks like a lot right there. <laughs> I get that. But, uh, I mean, you, you line it if you want to with some uh, bubble wrap or whatever. And you knock off that side to side. But, um, you know, this is a really nice package here for being able to put all your CGCs in. Um, did I just say PGCs? I don't know what the heck I said. C CBC has PGS and CGCs. Um, and then it's stackable too. I, I don't know that I'd recommend stacking it, but, um, I believe it is stackable if you wanted to. I'd feel more comfortable though, just, uh, having it just like this. You don't have all that weight bearing down from the back comic to the front comic. Uh, they're not sitting on their sides. I, mean, I really like this setup. I think I'll go back and buy me an extra. I, I am... I'm only buying storage containers right now for these due to the fact that um, once I, I'll have all some of my other uh, CGC boxes open up once I put some of these on the wall. So anyways, there's the uh, hefty uh, high-rise 32 quart. Okay, so I, I did a quick test just because I wanted to know. Um, the double stacked, uh, the, thicker, the thicker books like this ones that are like your golden age and then some of those special edition ones that are thick um, they will not fit in this you would have to go in and uh, and this says it's a 10 by 13 um, it says it right there it's a 10 by 13 display case I would argue that um, a little bit 
uh, because your interior right here, there's a there's a little board down in here. Your measurements are not going to be 10 to 13 with those board in, boards in there. It's a 10 by 13 if you take out that board. So if I flip it around and I show you what I'm talking about. Like this is the back of it, obviously. And if you go from here to down here at the bottom, that is 10 by 13. But your interior is not. So, uh, this is a CBCS comic as well. So CBCS uh, fit in there just fine as well. But again, it's, it's one of the, the thinner cases. So, um, here's both of these again. Just so you can sort of see what they look like. I think they'll display uh, rather well whenever we finally get moved into our house and I get my own uh, man cave. I'm super excited about that. Um, and I've got creative freedom in there, which I'm also super excited about. Kudos to the wife. Um, but uh, just really, really, that, that's just a really phenomenal look, in my opinion, for, and I've still got the bag around this as well, but that's just a really clean look. And it looks professional. And you're going out and you're doing it at a price that's, you know, that, that's not professional. Uh, $27.99, I believe, is how much this cost. So, um, for 14 bucks, I'm not spending a ton of money on a CGC frame. I'm not sure how much those are. Forgive me. I don't think they're cheap, though, at all. Um, and for 14 bucks, bam, it's in a frame. It looks nice. It matches if I'm framing action figures as well. So... Thank you all very much. Hope you all also like that uh, hefty um, high-rise uh, container. I think that's going to work well for me. Um, and I've got, I've knocked uh, two more comics off my list coming up. These are big comics for me to knock off my list. Um, and I'll uh, be back with you all in episode 41. I know I need to do another video today just to try to stay on top of things. But if not, I'll at least try to get this one up and running today on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. So... Y'all have a great one, and that's all, folks.